Good morning, Megan Cockrell here, and it is Monday, March 23rd, and um, day one really for the quarantine for me. Um, I work normally Monday through Thursday, so this is kind of the first day that I'll be feeling a difference not going into work. My husband and I were actually supposed to be going to Palm Springs, California, and then on to Arizona, Sedona, Flagstaff. Really, really bummed about that. I'm wondering what trips or plans were canceled for you guys uh, because of all of these coronavirus block lockdowns. Uh, so comment below, let me know what trips or plans were canceled for you guys. We're bumming, we would love to be in the sunshine right now, but trying to make the best of the situation. So I'm gonna make some pancakes for breakfast. My favorite go-to ones. They didn't have um, the ones with chocolate chips, so <laughs> I have no fear. I just have a few chocolate chips to add to them. So I'm gonna do that and then see where the day goes. So come along with me and hope you enjoy. just eating my pancakes now. I'm a weirdo. Maybe it's not that weird. I like peanut butter and honey on mine. Any weird toppings or other things that you use besides syrup? Um, okay, but then after breakfast, I am going to go check on the cows, make sure they're doing good. Then I'm gonna come back home and clean. Um, so I made out a list of everything that needs to be done. I tend to work better off of lists, it keeps me organized and it's like satisfying to like check things off. Anybody else? Anyways, so I'm going to be doing that. And the one thing that I hate most, the house chore that I am going to avoid and I know it is mopping the floor. It's not hard, but I hate it. I hate it. It's awful. So anybody have any advice? any tools that you use to make it not <laughs> as frustrating i just need to suck it up that's the truth so i just got out to the barn and ross called and said that centera which is the co-op that we get our grain from uh, they called and said that they are going to be delivering our grain shortly. So I just have to take this wagon out so that they can easily dump the grain in. Um, we are changing up the ration this time, uh, just since now that's spring and the mama's dietary needs have changed. We're changing that up. Ross works with Jeremy Barber. He's our beef nutritionist to make up the rations. So that should be coming. So I'm going to make sure it's empty, pull it out. Get this going. So again, we use Intera. I got the skid steer and the gravity wagon out just in time as he was pulling in. So we'll let him fill that up and then push it back in so the rain doesn't ruin it. to work with all of our calves one because it's fun for me but also a lot of these are going to be on our farm for a long time or maybe one of yours that I want them to be aware of people and friendly and know that we're not harmful so I think it's important to work with them pet them give them some love and attention and what better way to spend a rainy day than in the barn with some cute calves putting it on wrong. He just sits here. Such a good boy. And that's what I want. I just want him to get used to having it on. Know that it's not a bad thing.
practice taking it on and off of them. Got some spectators here, huh? Do you want some attention too? A little rainy out there today. Good day to be in the barn. With cute little guys. Yes. You're a little close. A little close. So this big baby is Ferdinand. He is out of SAV President. Some of you might recognize that name. Um, <laughs> He's putting all of his weight on me right now. He's a big old baby. He likes lazy, rainy days. Anyways, so he is going to eventually be our herd bull, but for now, he's just my big teddy bear. <laughs> but seriously, he is just chill, chill, chill. He will let me put a halter on him, no problem. He's very chill about that, doesn't have any problems. I mean, I crawl all over him. And he just loves the attention. He is a very, very sweet boy. You let me crawl all over you, don't you? You're just a big teddy bear. <laughs> His favorite spot to be scratched. See if we can find it. Get that tongue going. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> you like that, don't you, buddy? <laughs> you like your butt scratched? Hi, babies. That's 11. That was the last calf, bull calf born. It's growing nice, I think. Good looking guy, huh? Yes, you. Time to go home and get to cleaning. I spend all day out here with these sweet little guys, but I need to be productive. So I'm going to keep moving, go home and clean the house. The dreaded mopping project is behind me. Feels good to have that checked off the list. I will get things put back together, get my living room back in order, but feeling good about being productive today. What are you guys doing in your day off? Comment below, let me know. Back at the barn. Hi, Nine. And somebody made a mess in the creep feed. Who did that? Is anybody going to take responsibility? <laughs> Didn't think so. I can definitely tell Bridget is getting close to her due date. She's starting to bag up a little bit. Looking a little large and in charge these days, but doing really good. All right, head back home. So I just got home, got in from checking on the chickens. I gathered my eggs. They had eight today, not terrible. That's been about their average for the last few days here. So not terrible for 12 ch chickens. I'm gonna go shower and then start on dinner. All right, so I am going to take care of this pile of clean clothes real quick, get everything folded and then start on dinner. <laughs> weirdos that actually likes laundry. It is probably my favorite household chore. 
Hate mopping, love laundry. Dinner is ready. Chicken marsala, green beans, and mashed potatoes. Well guys, that is a wrap for me. It is time for YouTube and chill. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like this video. Give it a big old thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do that. If you are, thank you so much. It really helps me out. It helps get my videos out. If you are enjoying the content, others can see it that way too. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, hope you enjoyed this video. There'll be plenty more to come during this quarantine.